In this video, we continue the career of Lionel Belmont. If you haven't seen the first episode of the series, the link is in the description, so make sure to check it out. In the first episode of the series, we talked to our new manager, and it was decided that we'd spend one more season in the under-19s and then get a loan out to a senior professional side, and that's exactly what is going to happen, as our agent has put it out there to try and find us a suitable club to spend our first ever professional senior season out on loan. And as we are 17, there's not many clubs that are too interested in bringing in a 17-year-old who has never experienced senior football. But there was one club that was very interested in giving us a shot in France, as they are currently lacking any striking options. And that club is Konkanu in Ligue 2. They are the club that we will be spending our first ever senior professional season at. And they give us the number 31. And we hope to impress because at the end of the day, our goal is to make it through into the Marseille first team. And to do that, we're going to have to perform well. It took us a while to really get involved in the team. But we're coming off the bench here against Paris FC. Now the count score is 2 all, And it is in the 80th minute as the ball comes in and Belmont hits it in off the player and he gets his first ever senior professional goal in football and they turn it around from 2-0 down to lead 3-2 with 10 minutes remaining and what an impact from Belmont off the bench and you can see what it means to the team it's a fantastic turnaround and Belmont's first ever goal in professional football provided all three points as we won 3-2 coming back from 2-0 down and only a few weeks after that comeback result against Paris FC, Belmont got given his first ever start in professional football as we hosted Rodez. He's had to be very patient. It's time to pay off the manager. And it did not take us long to have an impact as the ball gets played into Beaumont on his right foot and he puts it home into the back of the net and gets his second goal in professional football. And it's the perfect start as we take the lead within 13 minutes. And into the second half, it did not take us long to increase our lead as the ball's played in and flicked on brilliantly by Belmont. I don't know if that was intentional, but he'll get an assist regardless. It's a beautiful flick on and it's tapped in at the back post and we have a 2-0 lead just at the start of the second half. And that was full time after our first ever start in senior football getting a goal and getting assist in a fantastic performance and we did manage to get a few more goals as the season progressed including this absolute belter with the left foot outside the box what a finish that is as we won 3-1 in this game and as the season progressed we were trying to fight for a top five spot to potentially make it into the playoffs for league one and we had a massive match as we hosted Saint Etienne to try and keep our run alive. And Saint Etienne started the stronger of the two teams as this man takes a massive touch. Look at the pace on him. Blitzes past the defender, crosses it in, and he just beats the keeper to it. And Saint Etienne take the lead in such an important match in the 37th minute. And unfortunately, it did not take long for Saint Etienne to make it too as they played a beautiful ball in behind again. Laid it off to his teammate who slotted it home to make it 2-0 to Saint-Étienne in the 43rd minute. And after that poor first half, they needed to improve their performances as Belmont lays it off. It's a chance. It's in. Is the comeback on as we score in the 61st minute as we look to turn this around. And straight after we scored the goal, we look to equalize as we played it into the box. And it's a foul. Surely it's a penalty. The referee's given it. What a chance for us to pull level. Unfortunately, Belmont isn't taking it, but he slots it home to give us the equalizer. And can we do it? Can we completely turn this game around? And straight away, we're coming forward again. It's a beautiful ball. It's Belmont. It's in. Can you believe it? Three goals in eight minutes. And the comeback is complete. Belmont gets the goal. And surely that could be the winner in such a memorable comeback. And what a comeback that was. Full-time 3-2 winners against Saint-Étienne. And that continues our hopes and dreams to finish in the playoffs. And a few weeks after that win over Saint-Étienne, there is only two games left of the season. And this is how the table looks. We sit in seventh, two points outside of the playoffs for the season, with Angers in fifth on 51 points. 
And our match today is against Pool FC. If we lose tonight, our dream could potentially be over if other results do not go our way. And we did not get off to the perfect start. As ever, chance is blocked, but they lay it off and he's through. It's a massive chance. It's a great save from our keeper. But they come forward again as they find a gap between our center backs. It's a massive chance and it's in. As they take the lead with only 10 minutes played, it's a horrible start. But this time it was our turn to get forward as we played it in. It's a chance. It's a fantastic save. And as we just took over half time of the first half, and they're through. It's an absolute speedster who's 101. He's taken it round. And he slots it home. And it's 2-0 now after 25 minutes. And this does not look good. But believe it or not, they're coming forward again. Can they make it free? What an unbelievable save. And we are just about to end the first half. But it's a chance. Can we pull one back? It's Belmont. What an incredible save to keep them in a two-goal lead. That is heartbreaking stuff. And at halftime, we trail by two goals. And we need a special comeback in the second half if we want to turn this around. And we were the first to create a chance in the second half as the ball comes in. And it's just saved by the keeper but now time was running out we've hit the 90th minute and we need two goals it's beautiful fluid play it's a chance it's in late drama potentially here as we pull one back with only a few minutes remaining but unfortunately we couldn't turn around in the second half and our dream of a top five finish to finish in the playoffs is over as we now sit four points behind with one game remaining and this was the final standings for our season we finished in seventh with 52 points unfortunately finishing four points off Khan for a playoff spot. And for our final individual stats for this season, we finished with 23 starts, three off the bench with nine goals, one assist with an average rating of 6.88, which isn't too bad for our first ever professional senior season. But our parent club, Marseille, did quite well. They did finish second this season. Obviously, they had no chance of winning the title, as expected with PSG just destroying the league. But a second place finish is very good. Now, we do actually have very unfortunate news. We were initially selected to represent France in the under-19 Euro Championship. But unfortunately, with only a few weeks out from the tournament, we were injured while training, getting a twisted ankle, which means we're out for a month and we weren't able to go with the team. Now, after we overcome our twisted ankle, we report back for preseason training at Marseille and we're met with a meeting with the manager yet again as Marseille want to give us a new contract. And that new contract, which we happily accepted, is a five-year deal with another one-year optional extension, but with a wage of 11.25 thousand per week, which is slightly over double what we were previously earning. And also in that meeting, it was decided that we would go on loan to League 2 again in the hopes that we can have an even better season than we just had. And we are going to be moving to a team that just got relegated from League 1, who are looking to bounce back straight back into League 1 from League 2. And that club is Lorient, as Belmont gets to wear the number 31 for another season in League 2. But our loan was not all sunshines and rainbows, as we struggled to really kick on in this division with this team. But we did finally get our first ever goal, and it took us three months to get one goal. Can you believe it? It's really not being a good season so far for Belmont. And unfortunately, it really didn't get much better. Another four months have passed before Belmont scored again, scoring two goals in seven months. An absolutely horrific season in front of goal so far for Belmont. And with that, our horrific season came to an end. It was an absolute shocker as we finished in eighth not even close to the playoffs for a team that was recently relegated with ambitions to bounce back we really underperformed and it wasn't just the team Belmont was horrific as Belmont only managed four goals and one assist in 26 appearances with an average rating of 6.74 it was a very poor performance in this season compared to last season and without any selections or call-ups for the France youth teams in the summer, it was time for Belmont to relax and get ready for next season. And with our poor performance from last season, obviously Marseille do not believe we are ready for first team action. So we're going out on loan again, but this time a team has taken a punt on us from League 1, and that team is Nantes, as we are having our first ever season in the French top division. 
And similar to last season, it did take us a while to get going, but Belmont finally got his first ever league on goal as he scored his first ever goal against Lille. But it did take us a few months after the season started, but hopefully this time we can actually get a few more goals. But this time we managed to continue our form. We didn't just stop and take four months to score again as Belmont uses his blistering pace. And he scores his second ever senior professional goal in League 1 as we take an early lead against Toulouse. And only a few minutes later, Belmont picked it up and looked to use his pace again. Clearly, it is a weakness of Toulouse and Belmont identified it and smashed it home to get his second of the game, getting two in the first 20 minutes. And only a few minutes later, we came forward again as a chance. It's Belmont. He's got a hat trick. Can you believe it? His first ever senior professional hat trick as he scored three goals in nine minutes against Toulouse. And what a performance so far from Nantes and Belmont. And what a performance from Belmont as we won 4-1 against Toulouse with Belmont getting a hat-trick and well-deserved match ball. And our goal-scoring form continued to stay strong as Belmont has slipped through. It's a chance for Belmont beats his man, finishes it with his left foot as we take the lead against Stade de Rems. It's a beautiful finish from Belmont. And with only 15 minutes remaining, the scores are locked at 2 all. It slipped into Belmont, and he gets his second. He gets the brace, and Nantes retake the lead as they lead 3-2 with only 15 minutes remaining. And Belmont's two goals proving crucial to Nantes' win today as they win 3-2. And now our season came to an end. Nantes never really fought for relegation, never fought for anything up top. They finished in 11th comfortably with 40 points. Nine points clear of relegation. And as we look at the table further up, Marseille finish eighth. They finished second last season and they've had a massive fall from grace. And as you would expect, when you go from second to eighth, the manager is on the chopping block. And that is what happened. Julian, who's been at the club for four years, has officially been sacked. And these are our stats for our first ever league earned season. We played 26 starts. Four off the bench, 11 goals, two assists with an average rating of 6.85. And considering we only managed to score four goals last season in League 2, this is a massive improvement. But our season is not done just yet as we have been selected for the France under-23 team to go to the 2028 Olympic Games in America. And we are here in America for the 2028 Olympic Games as our first match is against the hosts, USA. And this is our group. It involves Argentina, South Korea, USA, and obviously ourselves. It's not an easy group, and we've got to get off to a good start here. But unfortunately, Belmont is on the bench. Now, America getting off to a fast start here as they slip through the left back down the left-hand side. A first-time ball into the box, and it's in! America take the lead. The hosts take the lead with a in four minutes and it's the number 10 who does it and is a shocking start from France and it did not get any better for the French as America come forward again it's a fantastic reverse pass and what a goal that is an absolute beautiful strike it's 2-0 to USA after only 13 minutes I don't think the French could have started any worse and at halftime, it was 2-0 to USA. And it has been a shocking first half from the French. But France got off to a very fast start in the second half with this ball. Into the back post, and it's in. And it's 2-1, and it's game on. Only three minutes into the second half. And they've pulled one back. And only 30 seconds later, we come forward again. The pass fails, but it's flicked through easily. It's ball into the box. What a cross. What a goal. 49 minutes on the clock. And France are level. It's taken them two minutes to score two goals. And it's completely game on. And France coming forward again. And look at the numbers breaking into the box. It's passed in. Is there one more pass? There is. It's rolled in. It is shocking keeping. And France have done the impossible and turned it all around. And it's only been 15 minutes into the second half. And it's already 3-2 to France. What an unbelievable comeback. And that is full time. France did the unthinkable. Turning around a two-goal deficit to win 3-2. Unfortunately, Belmont did not make an appearance off the bench. But it's a great win for France regardless. 
And after that victory over America, it is now time for a top of the group clash as we play against Argentina as they bet South Korea 3-0. So they are ahead of us on goal difference. It's a massive match. And luckily, Belmont has been given the nod and he is starting this match. And France were the first team to get forward. And it's a massive chance. He's going to play into the box. No, he lays it off to Belmont. It's in the top corner. And Lionel Belmont scores the first goal for France tonight. And his first goal in the Olympics within four minutes. But unfortunately for France, it wasn't meant to be after that fantastic run. It's a half ass finish, but the keepers let it in. And Argentina drew level in the 90th minute to steal a point against France. It's a heartbreaking end to the game for France. And that was it for this match against Argentina. It's ended one all. But France had a good start to the tournament on four points. And Belmont getting off the mark in this match. And now it's time for our final group game of the 2028 Olympics. As we play against South Korea. And this is how the group looks. We are second behind Argentina. Tied on points. USA on three points. If we were to lose today and other results happened. Not in our favor. We could be out. So we have to win. And unfortunately, Belmont is on the bench. And France got off to the perfect start and he slipped through his teammate. He's in, it's one on one. It's in at the near post. Too much venom in the strike and France take the lead within 20 minutes. And only nine minutes later, France come forward again. And look at this pace. Unbelievable speed for the France youngster. And it's a fantastic finish to add on to that. What a goal. And it is 2-0 within 29 minutes for France. And surely... They have booked themselves a spot into the next round. And as we get into the second half, Belmont is coming on for France to hopefully finish this game. And finish this game, France did with a fantastic ball. What a pass that was. And he's one-on-one. -on -one. Can he finish? Easy as you like. France free. South Korea nil. And France are into the knockouts. And that is full time. 3-0 to France. And we win our group because USA have bet Argentina on the final game to progress into second. So France and USA are through. And Argentina and South Korea are out. And after securing our spot into the knockouts, it is quarterfinal time in the Olympics as we play against Ivory Coast. And Belmont gets a start in the knockout. And hopefully, he can be a massive difference maker for us to make it to a semi-final but Ivory Coast got off to the fastest start with this beautiful pass into his teammate and what a turn that is and it's a chance is he going to play it inside to his teammate he's gone for goal and it's safe hands from the French keeper but Ivory Coast came again and look at the space in the middle it's a massive chance can they take the lead they do the keeper can't save France this time and Ivory Coast take an early lead inside 20 minutes and France have it all to do now now. And about 10 minutes later, France take a short corner with the ball into the box. And it's Belmont at the near post. And the youngster does it for France. A massive goal in the knockouts. And France are level. And with only a minute left to play of this first half. And look at the space for Belmont. He's run into it. The team is all over the place defensively. Belmont driving still. What is he going to do? He chips it into the back post. And it's in. France take the lead. Belmont gets the assist. And what a perfect way to win the first half. As France take the lead. And it's half time now. France 2, Ivory Coast 1. And it's a first half comeback from France. And can they hold on to this lead to book a semi-final spot? And into the second half we go as France come forward. As the winger gets in behind, he dinks it in. It's a chance. It's a diving header. It's a good save from the keeper. And with only a few minutes remaining in this match, it is still 2-1 to France. As we play it short and we cross it into the near post. It's a chance. It's in. It's poor keeping. And France make it 3-1 in the 87th minute and that is the tie done and that is securing France's spot into the 2028 Olympics semi-final and that is that France 3 Ivory Coast 1 and France are into the Olympic semi-final unfortunately for Ivory Coast they are out and now it is time for our Olympic semi-final tie against Portugal. But we have some bad news. Belmont is on the bench. And Portugal got off to the fastest start as he's played through. And look at the pace on him. 
Absolute speedster. He's one on one with a keeper and he's absolutely skided. What a chance miss for Portugal. And now it's France's turn to get forward as it's laid off to his teammate. He goes for goal and it's a fantastic save from the Portuguese keeper. And France come again. The number seven picks it up and it's another excellent save from the Portuguese keeper. Fantastic keeping. And Portugal now countering with pace and that pace is on the right hand side. And look at the numbers in the box. The French defence are all over the place and it's in. Portugal take the lead and an absolute mess in the back from France. And they take the lead within 16 minutes. And Portugal hunting for another as he drives into the space. He takes a long shot and it's an easy save for the French keeper. France coming forward now as it's played through. And he lays it off to his teammate who takes a shot at the near post. And it's an excellent save again. The keepers are on fire today. And France come again. It's a big touch. It's a loose touch. But he's jammed his way through. How has he managed that? And what a finish. France are level. What a goal. Absolutely genius from the number seven. But only a few minutes later, Portugal come flying forward again. There's space in the box. Can they find it? He slipped through. And it's saved. What an excellent save from the French keeper. They were exposed defensively there but again it is the pace of Portugal causing issues for the French defense and it's played and it's a difficult angle and it's in at the near post the French keeper can't bail them out this time and Portugal retake the lead in the 41st minute only a couple minutes after France equalized and that is half time Portugal 2 France 1 it's all to play for in the second half it's been an entertaining first half but let's hope France can turn it around and we're now 20 minutes into the second half. And the skill move takes it away from the defender. He's absolutely cooked him. It's a chance. It's in. Portugal free. France won. And a massive comeback is needed from France in the last 25 minutes. Otherwise, they're going to get knocked out. And France coming forward. They don't have much time left. And it's a great ball in behind. It's a chance for France. What the hell was that? <laughs> absolutely dreadful. And that is full time. Portugal free. France won. And Portugal have knocked out France and unfortunately Belmont didn't play a minute of this game the manager didn't believe that he could be the one to turn around this game which is very unfortunate but our Olympics isn't done just yet and that's because we have to play off for the third and fourth obviously we're playing for a bronze medal and we are playing against Germany and Belmont is starting so hopefully we can impress but also get a bronze medal but France got off to the fastest start as Belmont picked it up and he slotted his teammate through can he finish he does finish and it's the perfect start for France in the third and fourth playoff match three minutes in and they take the lead and France coming forward now again as he beats his man on the right hand side delivers a great ball in it's off the crossbar Belmont he finishes it off Belmont scores and France take a 2-0 lead within 20 minutes what a scintillating start from France and only 10 minutes after our second goal Germany come through is it a chance it is it's in and it's 2-1 now and it's game on and that is half time France lead Germany two goals to one and it's all to play for on the second half and there's only seconds left of the match and Germany are pushing numbers forward it's a cross into the box what a ball to the back post and it's in Germany have done it with only seconds remaining and they've equalized to make it two all and it is heartbreaking stuff for Belmont and the French as they were so close to confirming themselves as the bronze medalists and now it's going to be only shootouts and Belmont steps up for France to take the first penalty and he slots it home to give France the early lead. And it's Germany's taker. That is absolutely awful. And France have their next chance and it's 2-0 to France. What a perfect start to the penalty shootout. And Germany's second penalty taker. He slots it home. And it's the number seven. He scored great goals this tournament and it's been saved. And can the number 10 for Germany get it level? He does. It's a great penalty. And now it's the number 15 for France who steps up to take. And what the hell is that? That is absolutely ridiculous. Number 18 for Germany puts it home and they take the lead for the first time in the shootout. And now it's time for the number four of France. He has to score to keep our hopes of winning this penalty shootout alive. He steps up to take it and he slots it home just. And here we go. This is the penalty for all penalties. The number five of Germany. Can he win Germans? 
the bronze medal. He does. It's an absolutely awful penalty. But the keepers dive the wrong way. And Germany beat France. And let's talk about this for a second. 2-0 up in 20 minutes. Bottle it. And they took the lead 2-0 in penalties. And also bottled it. It's an absolute bottle job from France today. And Belmont and France are heartbroken. As they do not get a medal from this Olympics. And after the disappointment of our Olympic campaign. Missing out on the final. And then losing in the third and fourth playoff we got a little bit of a break before our new season at Marseille now obviously there's been a few changes at Marseille due to the fact that Julian got sacked at the end of last season a new man is our manager his name is Jean-Pierre Papin he's been promoted from the reserves manager for Marseille to the first team manager and because he's a new manager we have to meet him to discuss our future at the club we had a good season last season at Nantes in league un scoring a few good goals and as we met with the new manager unfortunately we have some bad news for this upcoming season we were hoping that we would break into the first 11 this season but unfortunately marseille are going to give priority to another youngster coming through the academy over us and his name is enzo sternal and he's been on loan as well out in league Deux and league in the last few seasons but they believe he has more potential than us so unfortunately we've been told to go out on loan and we've got a few offers we got offered from Schalke, Lenz and Hertha Berlin and we were undecided on where to go should we try a different country should we stay in League 1? But the Schalke manager named Arnie Slot, he flew up to France and scheduled a meeting to talk to us. And he convinced us that this was the right move for our career. So we took a trip to Germany to sign for Schalke for the upcoming season on loan. But Schalke have negotiated an optional future fee of 35 million after this season if they were willing to spend that much money on us. Schalke recently got promoted back to the Bundesliga a few seasons ago, finishing in 12th last season, and it's time to try out a different country. Unfortunately, we didn't get off to a fast start in Schalke, as it took us a few months to get going, and we got our first ever goal against Bayern at home with this beautiful finish. Kind of poor keeping, but who cares about that? Belmont gets his first ever goal for Schalke. First ever foreign goal in Germany, and look at that. Look at the crowd. They absolutely love it. But even after getting off the mark for our first goal, we still struggled to make an impact. And this didn't help. An injury as we twisted our ankle and we're out for one whole month. And it just continued to derail our form. And only a few weeks after recovering from our injury, we were back into the action for Schalke. And look at the pace on Belmont here. Clearly injury did not affect them at all. It's a great finish. And finally, we were back in the goals. It took us a long time. We're now in January and we've already got our second goal of the season. And after getting that goal against Bridgemich and Gladbach after our injury, we hit a bit of form here as Belmont scored again against Augsburg. And then a few weeks later against Cologne, we scored another goal with this pace. Look at that. Bursting into the space and tapping it home as we now scored three goals in the last five games, finding a bit of form finally. But that was the end of our season. We didn't have as good a season as we hoped. Schalke did finish in eighth, just missing out on European football. But we really did not have an impact. We made 25 starts with no sub appearances, 9 goals, 1 assist with an average rating of 6.82. It was not our best season. But in terms of Marseille, they finished in third back into the Champions League under our new manager. And you might be thinking, did they make the right decision making Belmont go on loan and keeping Sternal to break into the first team? They were 100% correct as Sternal finished second in the top scorers, scoring 16 goals in league on this season, only getting second by one goal to Mbappe. And he also got seven assists. He really had a fantastic season. And with our loan ending at Schalke, Arnie Slot and the Schalke board decided not to trigger our 35 million buy option and we are going back to Marseille and hopefully next season we can really break into the team but with Sternal there it's gonna be difficult but again our season isn't completely done another call up to France youth teams for Belmont as we have been selected for the under 21 Euro Championship this time held in France a home tournament for us hopefully we can go all the way and win it and for our first match, we are playing against Ukraine. And this is our group. It's obviously us, Germany, Ukraine, and Wales. No international competition is ever easy. And we have to start off strong here. And Belmont is starting. And Ukraine got off to a fast start as they dinked it to the back post. A first time volley, and it's a good save from our keeper. 
But now it's France's time to come forward and it's played through and it's in. I don't know what the Ukrainian keeper's doing, but our number eight strikes and within 21 minutes, France take the lead. And only a few minutes later, France are doing the high press and they win it high. It's a mistake from Ukraine. Can they punish them? He's played it in. What a ball and it's two. Two nil to France, 26 minutes on the clock. And that is the perfect start for the hosts. And that is half time as France lead Ukraine 2-0. And it's a fantastic start for France. But Belmont isn't on the score sheet. And France continue where they left off after the first half. As they start strong in the second half and the ball comes into the box. It's Belmont with the header and it's a good save. And France come forward again. The ball's into the back post. What an absolute peach of a delivery. And our number eight scores again. And it is 3-0 to France. What a fantastic opening day. And France want another. Will they get one? It's played through. He's one on one. What a finish with the left foot. And he's got a brace as well. Two braces today. And it is 4-0 to France. Full time. France for Ukraine nil. And it is the perfect start to our Euro under 21 home tournament. The only downside is Belmont didn't score. And for our second match of the group stage, we are playing against Wales. This is how the current group looks. France and Germany winning both their games. Germany winning 4-2 against Wales. An entertaining game there. And if we win today, we will basically be confirmed into the next round. And luckily, Belmont is starting again. And Wales got off to a fast start here on the left-hand side. Look at the pace early on. And where is the French defenders? They're all over the place. A massive chance. It's in. And this could not have started worse. Wales score within a minute. And this is a horrid start from the hosts and France looks to bounce back straight away with a massive chance it's a good save but the finish wasn't that great France trying to high press Wales into a mistake but it's a long ball from the keeper and how the hell has he kicked it that far what a touch his teammates in it's a massive chance for Wales it's over France escape and that is textbook route one football and that is half time Wales lead France one goal to nil and it has not been a good performance from France in the slightest and into the second half we go and Wales come forward again look at that direct running from the Welshman it's a great save from the French keeper and France have been awful and that is full time Wales beat France 1-0 France could not create anything to save their lives and now their tournament is on the line going into the final group match and for our final match we play against the Germans and this is how the table looks we currently sit in third Germany sit in first after beating Ukraine 3-2 obviously Wales bet us so they are now in second as I do believe this works out as results between teams matters more than goal difference so on the final day, anything could happen. And unfortunately, Belmont is stuck on the bench. And France are the first to come forward. It's a big chance early on. He's gone for goal. And that had a lot of power on it. It's a great save from the German keeper. And France come forward again as it is played wide on the left-hand side. And he dinks it into the box. It's fallen to him. It's a great touch. He lays it off. It's a fantastic save again. But now France have a corner. It's whipped into the near post. It's a diving header. It's in. France take the lead. Just after the half an hour mark, it is 1-0 France. And that is a huge goal for France's survival hopes in this tournament. And now it's time for Germany to get forward. He slipped through. It's a massive chance for the Germans. And that was awful. And that is half time. France lead Germany one goal to nil. And as it stands, we will be going through. But there is bad news. And the other result, Wales are currently leading. Ukraine so if we don't win tonight so if we don't win this game we could be going home well we already are home we could be going back to our house in France and into the second half Germany coming forward it's a great ball and he's bet his man somehow can he find him at the back post he can it's in and the Germans break French hearts again they must hate the sight of them. It is one all in the 63rd minute. And with Wales beating Ukraine, France are currently out. And there's not much time left for France. And he breaks the line. It's great dribbling from him. 
What can he do with it? He's still going. What is he going to do? He lays it off. Chance. And it's not that good of an effort. They really spoiled that. They do not have much time left to save their tournament. And France getting forward. Is there one last chance? No, there isn't. France won. Germany won. And it all depends on the result of the Wales-Ukraine game. And I've got bad news. Wales scored again. And they win 2-0 against Ukraine. As we finished in third on four points with Germany and Wales securing the top two spots. We are out.